Hello, I recently launched this challenge and now I'll be showing you my take on it. So we start with the number of squares per edge and this is 10 because we want a 10 by 10 grid. And we also compute another constant k which is half of this number and then the total number of squares is k times n. Okay, now we have a wrapper and within it we have a loop. Okay, create all the items. Uh, and we want to pass on this k to the CSS. So we're going to have style. Uh, we use a custom property. So this is how we do this. The thing is, this k is computed. Uh, if I change the number of squares per edge, if I want an 8x8 eight eight grid or a 16x16 16 16 grid or whatever, then this gets passed on to the CSS and the, and the CSS gets uh, updated. Now let's set a few styles. So first off on the wrapper, we have display flex, um, flex, flex wrap, wrap. Okay, now let's move on to the items. And the thing is, we're not going to see anything without a background. So let's take care of this first. Then we just uh, set a padding. And this is going to be, let's say, 25% uh, over K. So uh, this uh, should do it. And we're also going to set um, a margin margin left and this is going to be 50 percent uh, not 25 percent okay so we have stripes now we're going to do something else here so our uh, style and here we have item and the child um let's make this twice k and plus one and here we're going to have a multiplier which we make zero and we add this multiplier right here and we make it one so this gives us a grid let's collapse the JS we're not going to be using it so we have keyframes rotation uh, to transform rotate uh, 90 degrees now let's set an animation duration here one second so here let's do something like animation um, and this is going to be that rotation and the animation duration and infinite okay so uh, we have this but we want to add a delay and this is going to depend on um, the column index so in order to do this we have a loop here from our uh, i starting from one smaller than k and we increment it every time and we have item nth child um so we have k n plus um, i plus 1 okay and here we set this custom property i to be the loop index so uh, here we have our delay which is i by default 0 over k uh, times half the animation duration Uh, so let's make this 50% instead. Uh, no, 50% and 100%. Let's make it like this. Okay, so um, this does for the rotation. Now let's move on to making things a bit more interesting. Let's add a background here as well. Make this white. Okay, and now we're going to set uh, two more sets of keyframes. So uh, we're going to have a switch rotation, and we're also going to have um, a switch inversion. 
I don't know what else to call it. Okay, so this is going to be a filter invert one. Okay, and this is going to be just uh, two. Uh, and here I'm going to have one turn. Okay, and now that I've done this, let's format this in a nicer manner as well. Okay, let's have our animation. So, um, switch inversion. The animation duration is going to be twice t. Uh, we're going to use steps timing function and it's going to be infinite. And now we're going to take this, just copy paste here, and it's going to be the rotation. And this is going to be uh, 4, and this is going to be 4 as well. So, um, yeah, we have a bit of trouble because um, of the sizing. So let's make sure this uh, thing, um, we don't have any division rounding errors. So let's set an explicit width. And this is going to be calc. Um, K times 8 ms. This should do it. Something like this. And yeah, we have our result. So, um, yeah, this is it. This is uh, how you get this uh, effect. With um, very little code, as you can see here, I have 22 lines of CSS, but if we count these, uh, we're going to get to 27. So, yeah, that's less than 30 lines um, of um, just plain CSS. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have and you want me to be able to do more stuff in the future and not end up dying in a trash can anytime soon, please consider supporting my work. You can do it with a donation, there's a link in the description. Or remember, you can make this kitty very happy by getting her something off her Amazon wishlist. The links are going to be in the description as well. In any event, thanks for watching.